this video we'll discuss the problem rank the permutations previously this problem has been asked in Microsoft and Amazon so basically in this problem you will be given a string s and you have to find uh, the rank of the string in lexicographical order or dictionary order right so let's say if the string is c a and b so you have to find its rank so basically before uh, c a b a b c would come then a c b would come then what will happen uh, b a c then b c a and then c a b would come right so this is the scenario so you can see that for a you had two choice two uh, options right so basically for a you had uh, two positions so that means two factorial for b also you had two positions right so that means two factorial now for c uh, you just come to this word right because uh, for this you did not have c a b s it was directly c a b and this was the very first character so that's why the overall position of this was five right now let's try and understand through another case like what we can do so let's try and understand if a word like y a s h was given to us right so if this particular word is given to us then how will we do it so will we make all the permutations no well, no we cannot right so for a how many choices we have we have three choices for h how many choices we have we have three right for uh, uh, s how many three right so that means for this particular uh, when the a is the first character of the string so we have three factorial when uh, when h is the first uh, character of the string then three factorial when s is the first character you have three factorial choices right so after this y would come right after this y would come so basically that means uh, you have three characters occurring before a before y right so for before y you have three characters occurring so that means three into three factorial right so that's nothing but 18 right after this y and a so a is the first character right then uh, then h and s right h and then s right so for this uh, you'll have one more right after this y a s h n as s and h right so that means one more so total 20 right that's how you get the rank for this as 20 this its rank would be 20 right so how can we do this particular thing so basically what you can do is if you will clearly observe so you can observe one thing that for the uh, for the character for this particular uh, character the for this particular current character that is y how many words were lesser than y so the number of words that were lesser than y was nothing but three right and I multiplied it with three factorial, right? That is the number of positions that were left. Now, for uh, for a, how many uh, number of uh, characters were smaller than a? There was no character that was smaller than a, right? There was no character that was smaller than a. That's that's something that you have to notice, right? So that's why it contributed zero, right? Zero into two factorial that was zero. Now, for h, how many characters were lesser? Uh, like for h, how many characters were lesser than a? Uh, like not for h, basically for this particular character. Uh, this particular character right for s how many characters were lesser than it so for s uh, the number of characters that are lesser than it is just one right and that's why you have this this character here right so one into like how many choices i have i have just one factorial choice right so one factorial that is nothing but one and the final word that you'll be returning so that's why you will add one more to it so eight plus one plus one will give me 20 so that's how you are calculating so let's try and find the intuition once again and see how we can actually implement it so if you will be able to observe this particular thing so basically what you have to do is you have to, you will be given a string like uh, let's say you you will be given any string right so what you will be uh, first of all doing is you'll be counting the frequency of each and every character let's say you have been given y a s and h so as you know that for y you were counting like how many characters are lesser than y right so that's why you could do 3 into 3 factorial right so that's what you'll be doing like you'll be storing the frequency of each and every character first of all so a will be 1 uh, s is occurring one time h is occurring one time and y is occurring one time right so this is the scenario so when i come to this particular uh, character right when i come to this particular character y so how many characters are lesser than y so the number of characters that are lesser than y are nothing but three right and like as you as you can see like a uh, the word starting with a the word starting with s and uh, h and s right so for a i have three choices for uh, h i have three and s i have three right so for this i have three factorial for this i have three factorial for this i have three factorial that means how many words are lesser than y three how many characters are lesser than y three so i'll do what three into three factorial right so that's what i am doing so how, what does that mean so that, that means basically the count of the elements that are lesser than y so that means i am in the count it is actually stored three right so in the in my count i have actually stored three so count is three and count into what count into n minus one because i'm taking a zero based indexing so this is zero this is one like i'll do the indexing part uh, with another color zero one 
2 and 3. Now you can understand with this particular character that uh, n minus 1 is uh, n minus 1 minus i if I'll do this part. So n minus n is what? n is equal to nothing but 4 for this case, right? So you can easily understand that if my n value is equal to 4, if my n value is nothing but 4, right? If my n value is 4, so what is n minus 1? It is 3 and i 0. So this is nothing but 3 factorial and the count was currently 3, right? So this is what it will get stored, right? So that means nothing but uh, this value is 18, right? And after this, uh, Let's try and figure out what other things I will be adding. So now since, since this particular Y character is done, so I'll remove, uh, I'll uh, decrease its frequency and now its frequency reduces to zero. So that, that's why I can remove it, right? After this part, what will happen? Like I have to consider for this particular word A, right? When I'm when I'm at this particular character A. So when I'm at this particular character A, right? So when I'm at this particular character A, so now will I have any uh, anything for A? No, because how many characters are lesser than A? There's none, right? There's no character lesser than A. So I'll do zero. It, into 2 factorial right because n value will be 4 4 minus 1 is 3 3 minus uh, 3 minus uh, 3 minus 1 is what 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 factorial but I'll get 0 from here right after this what will happen I'll add what uh, so I'll decrease the frequency of a as well so a's frequency will also decrease to 0 now what will happen I'm uh, I'm currently at this character s right so once I'm at this character s so my current character is s so if my current character is s how many characters are lesser than s so there's just one character that is h right so my count is now one and one into what one factorial right because n minus uh, n will be n minus one will be three three minus two is what one so one factorial so i'll get one from here right and uh, in the result i can initially store one right so let's say initially the result is storing one so you can see that uh, i have reached when i reach this particular word right so i i will make s uh, as zero right i'll make the frequency of s decrease by one so that means s frequency decreases to zero now when i come to this particular word h right so why why did i add one because y a h and then s was there right so that's why you added one then you have y a s n h right so that's why you will add one so in in the result you can add one directly right uh, before beforehand before calculation right because this is this will not come in the counterpart why because you can see if my if i am at currently at this particular character if my uh, current character is this h so what will happen uh, current character is h how many characters are lesser than h there is no character lesser than h so that means 0 into 0 factorial so that means uh, 0 into 1 is nothing but 0 right so overall I'll, if i'll take the sum so this comes out to be nothing but 20 because 1 plus 18 plus 1 gets gets me 20 and that is the rank 20th rank is the rank of my current word that is yes right let's try and quickly write the uh, implement the code for this particular question so what I'll, what I'll be having is, uh, let's say I have the string as s, right, if I have the string as s, so in the n, I'll be storing the size, uh, in the n, I'll store the size of the string, that is the length of the string. Once I'm done with this part, so I'll have a, uh, I'll have, I'll have an array to store the frequency for all, each and every character. So all the 26 characters frequency I'll be storing in this particular array. So how will I store it? So what I'll do is I'll write a loop. So for int i starts from 0, i is lesser than uh, n and I'll do an i++. plus plus. So I'll iterate through each character and store the frequency. So array of s of i minus a plus plus, right? So I'll increase the frequency for each and every character at the indexes, right? And then once I'm done with this part, so I'll also need the factorial, right? I'll also need the factorial so I can uh, pre-compute it, right? So since the factorial can be large, so I'll uh, compute it in long, long. So let's name it as fact and let's have n, right? So uh, I know that uh, factorial of uh, zero is nothing but one, right? I know that factorial of 1 is nothing but 1, right, after this I can store the factorial, so int uh, i starts from 2, i is lesser than n, I do an i++, plus plus. and what is factorial, factorial of i is equal to nothing but factorial of i minus 1 into i, right, so this is what I will be doing, once uh, the factorials are calculated, so I will run the loop for each and every character, so int i starts from 0, i is lesser than n, I will do an i++, plus plus. then what I will do is, uh, for the ith character of the string, right, so I will mark the int count as 0, I will mark my count as 0, right, for each and every character, that is the number of characters that are lesser than the current character, that uh, that I want to know, right, so what I will do is, int uh, nothing but j starts from 0, right, and j is lesser than s of i minus a, that means j is lesser than the current character, so I am uh, I'm finding the frequency of all the characters that are lesser than this particular character and this loop is uh, going to run for how many times, it will run for order of n time, right? And how much for how much time this particular loop is going to run? It will run maximum 26 times, right? So that means order of n into 26 will be the time complexity. Now how will I calculate the count? So I'll do count plus is equal to nothing but array of j, right? So all the characters that are less than the current character, like for y, how many characters were lesser? a was lesser, s was lesser, and s, h was lesser, right? So 
A was frequency one, S was frequency one, H uh, H was having frequency one. So total three, the count became three, right? So I did three into three, three factorial, right? So that is what I'll be doing here. So result initially, I also need a result. So what I can do is I can have a result, let's say uh, long, long result is equal to one because for the last character uh, like y a s h for the last uh, for the last word that i'll be having i need to store uh, i need I, either i need to do result plus one if i am doing ta taking zero or i can directly do the result is equal to one right so result plus is equal to what result plus is equal to nothing but count uh, the count of the number of characters that are lesser than me right and also once i uh, came out of this particular character so what i would do is uh, in the array i would uh, decrease its frequency i will decrease the frequency of y right that is also something that i was doing right now count into what factorial of nothing but n minus 1 minus i and in the end i simply return the result so let's try and compile this code and see whether it's working on the sample cases or not so it seems to work let's try and see for the custom input yes and it should work so you can see it's giving 20 as expected now let's try and compile and hopefully it will get submitted as well so you can see that it was able to pass all the test cases that were given so as i mentioned uh, the time complexity for this particular question uh, the time complexity for this particular approach is uh, going to be the time complexity is going to be nothing but order of n into 26 right order where n is the size of the string whereas n is the nothing but the string dot size right and uh, uh, the space complexity is going to be order of 26 because i took a um, uh, frequency array to store the frequency of each and every character thank you for watching this video